don't know what you say. I don't know what you say. It's called Average Melody Song. It's a song that I wrote for myself. It took a few years for that song to make, and then I forgot about it. Those uh, scenes in hundreds of American movies when the guy comes from work. Opens the fridge, tuck her, give her. I get that now. Now, so like I watch anything and everything. Yeah. But there are certain things which I can't miss. No matter how busy I am, I know that Monday morning 6 a.m. House of Dragons का episode आएगा तो देखना ही है. I just feel that anime is like the best mixture of art, storytelling. There's so much drama in it, and like the action that's there, it just makes me really happy. ये meeting ये meeting में ना बीच में चार लोगों से मिल गया पंद्रह पंद्रह मिनट और फिर एकदम बड़ी meeting है. I want to do a lot of stuff. But don't no. want to do it today. Why am I, I not surprised? Know, I don't know what you say. <laughs> I don't know what you say. We spend a large part of our lives running a race. We are on a treadmill. We are always going. But if we don't pause often enough, we don't find that way to pause and reflect on the past, focus on the present, and move towards future. What we do doesn't, or rather, largely doesn't get us the results we want. and to understand the ways in which taking a pause is a process you can build into your life what you've actually done is that we put together a compilation of a lot of our guests sharing how they do this so you can use their method in your own life sharing all of that together in this episode of take a pause so before you go there I want to make sure you hit subscribe and smash the bell icon go straight into this assortment of how you can take a pause Welcome to take a pause with me Varun Dugirala. What is your way of relaxing or taking a pause or anything of that sort? Reading and like I said cooking hmm. uh coffee going for a walk and now I also understand those uh, scenes in hundreds of American movies when the guy comes from work opens the fridge tuck kar ke beer kholta hai i get that now mm. you know mm. i think it's uh, it's it's nice to have a beer mm. when you're home when you feel you've earned it mm. not when you're like <laughs> just sitting at home and opening just it up sitting at home um yeah having having a having a good meal uh having a conversation which is uh which is supposed to be frivolous is relaxing also which which doesn't where you're not trying to get something where you're not trying to extract any experience where you're not trying to extract is also very uh, it's 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 relaxing and what's a song that you go to especially when you like this is a song i need for this emotion i'm feeling right now or other which kind of pushes your mood up this song called reckoner by radiohead it's from this album in rainbows for me that song is the is the last song i'll want to hear before i die and i don't know what the song means besides that it's about the day of reckoning and mm. you know what do you leave with and your final calculation how my hisab batao kaise jiye but for me it's not the thematic of that uh, song it's just uh, the music of it it's it's great i have always been interested in art and that shows in my artwork as well like it's always paintings and drawing and i used to paint as well when i was a kid i really wanted to become a comic book a book artist but i ne- i just got into music so that's something that i started doing um i think i could tell like really cool stories and i just feel that anime is like the best mixture of art storytelling and it's just there's so much drama in it and like the action that's there it just makes me really happy i find a lot of comfort watching anime uh and Uh, like even movies like Spirited Away, I don't know whether you know about this. Like Howl's Moving Castle and all, they are just so beautifully weird. I think my mind is very similar. I feel because it just goes into all of these like weird tangents and all of those things. I feel that my mind is very similar. So I just find a lot of beauty in it. It makes me very happy. There are a lot of times whenever I'm writing, I'll just put one of these movies or like one of these shows on mute and but on on the TV and I'll just start. start playing and for some reason that just does something to me like it just makes all the colors and all that come right like all just the way they are drawing the art style and all it does just, just does something to me and i can i genuinely feel that i get more creative whenever i see it so it's just i think it just stimulates my mind i guess so that's what happens we put into the playlist of tracks that people use or listen to when they are taking that moment to pause taking that moment to reflect find the time to chill is there a track you'd like to add to it I used to play a lot of SP Balasubramanian. 
I don't know what you say. I don't know what you say. Why am I not surprised? I don't know what you say. I don't know what you say. I I genuinely I'm a I've been a pause guy for years. I decided in all seriousness that uh working smart was better than working hard. Yeah. And unfortunately efficiency is and common sense are such uncommon things in India that if you just apply yourself uh just sometimes 5 minutes 5 minutes of focused thinking is better than an hour of just doing useless nonsense. Mm. Just everyone's there. There everyone's in the room. Yeah. Bring out your best batter. Bring out the best bat. Bring out your A game and get it done. Don't just, build up to it. Just do it. Just get it done, man. Yeah. I don't know why we like there is just inefficiency really gets my goat. Mm. Like it really does. And now also having been having been a dinosaur in the media industry now I've just I've seen every angle of it right yeah. I've seen radio I've seen television I've seen film I've seen you know events I've seen producing yeah. I've seen all of it so I know that you don't need to do this entire dance get it done go home spend time with your family spend time with your friends spend time lying on your couch right spend time doing nothing yeah. spend time partying get drunk I don't know do whatever you want to do yeah. Why do you have to physically be in that? Don't show me that you're working. Show me the work. Mm. Right? That's it. Yeah. I don't want to see. I used to. I remember when I started Oak Tree, my content company. I remember somebody emailed me once at. I had told them to work on a maybe a, let's say it was a presentation or something, and I got a I got the email at eleven thirty at night. Mm. It's okay, cool. I only checked it the next morning. and in office or whatever i said why did you why did you send me this email at 11:30 hmm. you're saying oh, i was working on it at 11:30 till 11:30 at night i said but from what time hmm. right hmm. cuz i told you at 10:30 in the morning hmm. this at best hmm. is an hours work maybe 2 hours work yeah focused hours work chill 2 hours work hmm. why in the devil's name Are you working at eleven thirty? I said I'm not impressed. I think maybe you send that mail because sometimes there are there are people who are founders of companies and stuff would get impressed that oh look at this kid working at eleven thirty. Burning the midnight oil and all that stuff. I don't get impressed. I think at that time you should have probably been with your friends mm. or you should have been chilling at home or you should have been sleeping, mm. <laughs> right? So why the f- are you doing this? Mm. There's no reason. Yeah. So I'm a I'm a big believer in that. I'm so I am ambitious. I I joke about the fact that I'm I, I think I am. I'm lazy but I guess if you were to put a positive spin to that mm. it's just that I believe that there's no I everything doesn't need to be done today yeah right I think just making a peace with the fact that everything doesn't need to be done today will make us realize that anyway everything wasn't getting done today so all you're doing is just frustrating yourself tiring yourself setting yourself unrealistic goals uh and yeah that's what i believe in so i want to do a lot of stuff yeah but yeah. don't want to do it today i remember my my 30s all of my 30s was just jam packed jam packed yeah. and i loved my calendar to be tattooed like yeah. the like the blocks like little stack, exactly stack, stack like, like ye meeting ye meeting <laughs> no beech mein char logo se mil gaya 15 15 <laughs> minute fir ekdam badi meeting and it was it was intense and i loved that the yeah. rush of it was just so addictive the context switching was something that i was uh, at least i used to think was something that i was mm. brilliant at yeah uh, you leading you running a startup you have people coming in uh, there is high visibility and uh, just like you covid happened you just slowed down and in that slow down i also started to have a conversation with myself that i've been through this over the last decade i thoroughly enjoyed it i wouldn't trade it for anything else yeah. it made me learn a lot more than i thought i would but do i want to do this for another decade mm. do i want to do it for another but yeah it, it was it was a wonderful time and and i think i i loved that time mm. so much more that i didn't want to ever go back to any other time and then the question was how do i design my life around this yeah and thankfully content happened because content gives me that freedom and the way that i'm running 
my entire business and startup now it it just is designed to not be fast paced it's yeah. designed to be patient it's designed to take your time it's designed to not choke not just me but anyone in my team as well yeah long gestation period nothing which is like one big call that we took on our content for example was we're not going to do anything that's trendy mm. anything that we do would still apply if one were to watch it after you're not doing a video of two people chasing each other with the captions which every <laughs> the only thing you see on instagram right now yeah, yeah. or a wes anderson one uh, or 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 chat gpt kaise aapki life badal lega i uh, <laughs> none of that none of that uh, you would create content that is time agnostic which means you don't have to rush through things there is no news to be published there is no time yeah. to be there is no trend dying phenomena in your business or yeah. in your area which i love and that's helped yeah. a lot what's your idea for relaxing day when the camera is off i'll tell you mm. ah okay, when the enough. camera is on <laughs> when the camera is on an idea of a good relaxing day is a day where i'm not looking at my google calendar or what is my next appointment i feel that i feel that what's the song that lifts your mood oh oh i'll tell you a series of songs i have a So every time I feel a little low, there is a playlist I've created mm. that just has. Is it a public playlist? No, not a public playlist. Is, there are mm, mm. there's a song I've written. Okay, mm. Mm. it's called Average Melody Song. Mm. Released in 2011 or 13, I don't know. Mm. Before I moved to Bombay, no, no, I don't know. But basically, wrote it when I was in radio back in mm. Delhi. It's called Average Melody Song. It's a song that I wrote for myself mm. of how to feel better. and then i forgot about it and i released it many years later just on soundcloud it's not anywhere else you can't find it anywhere it's not only like a few people i know have commented on it till today when i listen to that track it's not good I, it doesn't i mean i i like it i like the melody of it mm-hmm. it has a story to it the guitar part is from uh, matthew jacob who's a friend of mine the music melody came from johan pace who's the bass player uh then adhir played guitars on it mm-hmm. oni from uh, advaita did the the arrangement there's a full narrative it took a few years for that song to make and now when i listen to it it literally is just advice to myself of how to feel better hmm. and and i find it so odd now at 35 that back then i wrote a song that still still today is the song that i listen to be like okay what should i do if i'm feeling uh, jittery nervous or not even nervous if, hmm. you, if you're not if you're not feeling well hmm. if your mind is not well that's one song i listen to other than that there is a vibe of a song i listen which is i'm very uh, mm. not oops, oops, but it's got to have a good uh, happy melody yeah so i think i would say average melody song the song that i wrote for myself mm. that's the song i listen to mm. and after that i listen to more whatever is like a happy vibe of a song i consciously give myself 5 to 6 days a month which are my break days um no and i say now no to i have said no to so many big opportunities which i i i don't feel really bad about saying no to them anymore at that time i did but now i don't because ultimately i am a much happier person and sorted and sane person than i would have been otherwise so this approach really works for me that i know that i need to give let's say 15 to 17 days to goila butter chicken so those 15 to 17 days will be there no matter what goes uh in my life and uh, the entertainer entertainer in me has taken a little back seat because both are equally fulfilling uh, which means that yes i might like to be the uh, my core personality is to be saranj goila the chef entertainer but i know that i have created something that will live probably beyond i do so i feel that i'm responsible to to nurture it um to a certain extent where it does not need me hopefully there's a day when goila butter chicken does not need goila anymore and can function on its own and i can carry on with my creator journey but i think any successful person in this world will tell you is that you have to live the journey completely there is no reward without it which means the biggest businessman in the world or chefs or anyone who's created something uh, that lives on longer than they do they spent certain amount of time dedicating it to it whether they liked it or not and i think that's sort of the japanese way of working like sushi people make sushi their entire lives 
and why people spend so much time nurturing something is that it's like having a kid no you have to give that kid kid few years of your life fully unless you nurture him or her for those and i don't have a kid but i feel like that's how it would be maybe you can tell me <laughs> it, is, it is it's definitely like that yeah <laughs> so uh, unless you give them like 8 or 10 years of your life they they might not turn out like the humans we want them to or they might not find the right uh calling in this world so i feel like any business you start requires that and that's i have learned that the hard way i used to think are brand bana diya master chef pe chale gaye दो तीन आउटलेट से खाना अच्छा जा रहा है इट्स ऑल गुड बट दैट्स नॉट हाउ एनी बिजनेस वर्क लाइक देर इज सो मच मोर दैट गोज इन टू इट बट या सो हंड्रेड परसेंट इन अ मच बेटर स्पेस बाय सॉर्ट ऑफ चार्टिंग माई कैलेंडर एंड प्रायोरटाइजिंग वॉट इज रेलिवेंट एंड नाउ आई डू माई आई गिव माई सेल्फ थ्री ईयर गोल्स सो थ्री ईयर्स आई एम गोन टू फोकस ऑन दिस देन आई एम गोन टू शिफ्ट माई फोकस योर सो आई बिकम स्लाइटली मोर प्लान एंड ऑर्गेनाइज I never used to function like that um, before 2020. Then the pandemic gave me time to sort of help me uh, organize. How do you take a pause? <laughs> <laughs> I my my pauses are movies consumption. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I watch podcasts, I watch series, I watch movies. I think that's my pause. Yeah. But I love it. There used to be time before pandemic. Every Friday, I'll go watch a movie. in theater yeah like it's and i was excited for it like to me that was pause and yeah. i love it yeah. even today there are certain series now to like i watch anything and everything yeah but there are certain things which i can't miss no matter how busy i am i know that monday morning 6 am house of dragons ka episode aayega to dekhna hi hai like that so yeah. i think that's pause for me that gives me a sense of everything else has stopped around me mm. all i need to do is this yeah. and it can be anything yeah like it can be worst flop bollywood movies as well hmm. and it can do be, the best <laughs> <laughs> right and it can be super hit shows with the world is excited like with the world excited about as well so that's pause for me i i love that i think i cannot sit idle hmm. and that's something which i feel it's an advantage and a disadvantage mm-hmm. so i really want to learn that i can't meditate i can't do that every time i've tried to sit idle with myself what i've do- done struggle with it i've struggled there's a big big white board in in my room right so i started write i start writing something so i've just come to a piece that this is my way of meditation hmm. just letting things out yeah the pause mere liye se bhi hota hai ki every time i'm in my element and that element when everything stops is consumption is there a specific track or any 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 form of music that really gets you into that whole that you're in a rest state specific? indie music gets me to that say hmm. like i am a huge indie lover hmm. so matlab i in fact like if you open my phone on spotify on youtube the first thing is like indie playlist hmm. the new indie song i i just love that i love hmm. when and there are so many like prateek kohar ye this is good new guy called dikshant hmm. anuv jain yeah these are the people i love like yeah. these are the tracks uh, and i go hard core you know? sometimes listening to ghazal yeah. i'm listening to like raat fateh ali khan yeah. like so i think that those are the tracks hmm. there's one song specifically which makes me very happy and pause as well it's song zinda by lutera there's mm. a movie called lutera yeah right? so i love that do you take a pause yeah 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 for sure like i love like i hang out all the time with my friends uh, where work conversations are limited because also what tends to happen is people the first question that they ask you is like so what's happening with work what's new oh, how is this interview oh my god you know and you have to maneuver the conversation a little bit being like No, it's all good, but like, let's talk about something else. Uh, yeah, watch a lot of shows. I enjoy cooking. I travel a lot. I read. So this is the only time when I'm disconnected. If I'm reading, I'm reading. Like I just don't want to like be asked about too many things. Um, I also wake up very early in the morning, so I do have time for things that are important to me, like meditating or reading or working out. how do you take the pause yeah uh, and i stumbled on this completely by accident i had a gym injury because of which which normally used to be my place of um, calming the nerves yeah, or yeah. like like yeah. Uh, like you know just where yeah. you cut off everything else music or an audio book and you're at the gym and i had this injury where i was told like for a month and a half mm. i can't go to the gym mm. 
and that for someone who ha- like and what what people don't realize is like when when you're an actor it sort of becomes your um, it, it's your goal post of how you're starting your day it's like sort yeah. of uh, one of the to do lists in your routine and it's yeah. so essential to have that kick start people do different things some people journal some people grab a cup of coffee like for me it was like get up grab something to eat and then go to the gym yeah. and when that's taken away from you you're looking for something else and that is how i discovered yoga yeah. and uh it went from just a form of exercise that wasn't as strenuous which i realized later was the most superficial way of looking at at yoga to something that i found like really helps to center you because i remember coming out of that first yoga class saying that hey man i feel energized and no matter how good a session you've had at the gym you do feel a bit tired when you when you come out like you know you wouldn't instantly want to say like hey let's go like run like 2 2 kilometers now but after the yoga class i came out feeling almost like consciousness had expanded and you feel a little more alive and i was like what is that feeling let's mm-hmm. get deeper into it and so as a complete like yeah. series of the, the mistakes that got me there it went from alternate exercise to something that centers you to something that helps you while you're acting to now just a lifestyle choice where you take out time in the week it might not be every day yeah. but it helps you definitely it's the most natural way that you can do yeah. get centered and meditation of course is there's something beautiful about yoga like you said is that it starts off like you you think it's exercise but it's actually a lot more than that is actually what you turn to when when you want to kind of feel like you want to flow but you still don't yeah. want to just sit in one spot yeah um like i can't meditate to as much as i try like too much of a scattered mind to do that and i find yoga to be simpler yeah, i'm exactly the same which is why i use like an audio prompt like mm. i need someone to Yeah. to to say okay breathe now breathe yeah. breathe out yeah. which could help anyone who's watching this to sort of get started yeah but it's the same like if i sit down like on any given day there are so many questions running that you find it hard to mm. to sort of remain still yeah. but you're right like there's such a, a profound sense of knowingness that comes from yeah. from yoga that it's difficult to um, explain to someone who's never experienced it or done it what do you do uh, to take a pause i started working out yeah and i was uh, i started going on walks which is so not me uh because i'm just like who walks yeah. like it's the most it's random the best, no, yeah i know i thought it was the most randomest thing to do uh and i would always be like okay if you're working out you need to go to a gym or you know you need to be in a class or whatever like just walking as a medium of leisure or exercise never existed so i do that now is there a song or any particular could be an album could be a song could be a genre that you turn to when you want to kind of take that pause do you have yeah i have an indie playlist on spotify hmm. so i think it's got like a lot of pratik kohad and i just listen to that that's like my soul music yeah, yeah. 